Hello everybody, Gaiman here at Gaiman.com. Welcome back to the Get Online course, in which I'm taking you through step by step how to get your business online, no matter what you sell and who you sell it to. Now, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to choose a template for your website. We are going to use Wix for this video, but you can use whatever option you have around which you are best familiar with. It can be WordPress, it can be Squarespace. It can be Godaddy, Namecheap, Google, whatever. For me, I understand how to use Wix. I've been using Wix for a while now for most of my websites. And that's what I'm more familiar with. So they have this kind of uh, artificial intelligence tool that will help you help you build your website depending on some questions that you answer. For example, the first question is, who are you building a site, a site for? I mean, are you building the site for your company, for your client, or for your, or for your someone else? Maybe you are a freelancer doing a design. So um, for me, I'm going to say I'm creating this for myself, and then and then I'm going to say it's going to be a business, a blog, photography, an online store, a portfolio, whatever industry or category of your business. For me, mine is an online store, so I'm going to select an online store. And then next, I have built sites before, or I haven't. I'm going to say I'm starting this from scratch. I've never built any site before. The next question is whether you have built sites professionally or you haven't. So the next part is now Wix. There's two types of two ways to create a website in Wix, and I've made a video already about this. If you haven't watched the video, make sure you do. Now, two ways to create a website in Wix. You can either choose to use the Wix ADI, which is the Artificial Design Intelligence, which is basically if you click Start Now right now, it could basically create a website for you depending on the questions that you just answered. And then it will be simple for you to choose to change the words and some images maybe, and you'll be done with your website. Now, the other option is to choose a template. Now, if you are choosing a template, it means maybe you want to change some of the look and feel of some pages. And that's what we want to do for today. So I'm going to click choose a template. All right, so we have a lot of templates. What we are looking for is, uh, I want us to create, I'm going to create something for fashion and store, but if you notice up here, there's a lot of uh, categories and uh, different options you can use. For example, notice if you go under business, there's consulting and coaching, there's advertising and marketing, there's under health and wellness, there's beauty and the hair, there's fashion and style. So all the things you need to know what type of website you want to create, what type of online business you want to launch, so for me, I want to create something in the lines of, uh, if I go to online store, I'm going to look for something in the lines of uh, fashion and clothing. All right, I'm not going to choose electronics. So when I choose fashion and clothing, notice now all the templates have been filtered and they have been refined. Now I'm looking at things related, I'm looking at templates related to fashion. And notice the numbers have reduced, not many pages now. Now I have a few pages to look through and choose the template that I want. Now each of these templates will have two buttons, whether you want to view the demo of the website, how it will look like, or you want to edit this template so that you can use it for your website. So before I click edit on this one, I'm going to go through these others and see if I can find something beautiful or something cool. I think uh, I'll take this one here. So first of all, I can click view to see how the website looks like. I think that's cool. That's good. Or I can click edit right now to edit the website and use it. To edit the template and use it for my website. But first I'm going to click view demo so that I can see the look and feel and the colors and images and the animations and everything, transitions, page transitions and see whether it will work out for me. So the demo is I think a cool one. 
and go through and scroll through and uh, click on some of the other pages and see how they look like i think it's a cool one and once i'm satisfied or once you are satisfied once you are satisfied with what you are looking at you can just click the edit button and this will take you to the wix editor the website editor simply a drag and drop editor very easy to use and very easy to replace your images or edit the text but the most cool thing i love about the wix editor is the ability to edit the seo very easily just by click of a button you are able to edit the search visibility of your pages all right now this is the wix editor this is the wix editor the buttons on the left are the ones that you'll be using to add items for example the menus you'll be using that button to edit the menus and the navigation the background you use that for background background color or image if you wanted an image in the background the add button is the one you use to add different elements on your website like the buttons the, the text the images the add apps is the wix marketplace for different apps that you can connect or integrate into your website to optimize your performance or to improve and increase sales media is just media as is media to upload your photos and images or videos plus the blogging part now there is one button which is missing here which is the online store which you you use to manage your store now unfortunately in this video we are not going to look at how to edit the templates and that's because i've already made a couple of videos about the wix editor if you, if you haven't checked out those videos i'm going to link them in the video description below so that you can watch them when you have some free time otherwise that's how you choose a template for your website using wix and i would like to thank you so much for joining me in this one and joining me in the get online course i hope it's helpful so far if it is please make sure to share it to your friends make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification button make sure to click the like button spread the love thank you so much for watching see you in the next video